Ohio College of Social and Behavioral Sciences Fall 2023 Commencement Ceremony. I am Dr. Andrea Schepfer, Interim Associate Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences and Grand Marshal today. Out of respect for our graduates and in recognition of the importance of this ceremony, we ask that all of you please silence your cell phones and remain in attendance through the completion of the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation. To begin the commencement ceremony, will the class of 2023 please come forward?
Graduates, on your seat, you found a copy of this year's commemorative commencement program. Please remember to take it with you as you leave today's ceremony. Will the class of 2023 please remain standing for faculty and remain standing for the platform party. The bearer of the mace is Dr. Jacob Jones, associate professor in the Department of Psychology. Will the bearer of the mace and the platform party members please come forward? You may be seated. President Morales, Provost Muhammad, Dean Hasija, honored guests and graduates, the 23rd fall commencement of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, California State University San Bernardino, is hereby convened. Will you please remain standing and join in singing of our national anthem performed by CSUSB student Ariana Reeves. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red still there oh say does that star spangled 
May be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to this celebration of the success of our students and our faculty. My name is Rafiq Mohammed, and I have the pleasure of serving as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Cal State San Bernardino. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to recognize Mace Bearer, or the Mace Bearer, Dr. Jacob Jones. He's back there somewhere. There he is. Dr. Jacob Jones is an associate professor in the Department of Psychology. He earned his PhD in clinical psychology from the University of Florida in 2016. He completed a residency in clinical neuropsychology at Brown University in 2016 and an NIH-funded T32 postdoctoral fellowship in clinical neuropsychology at UCLA in 2018. And for those of you who are like, what is that? It's a big deal. He has over 40 published articles and chapters on the topic of neuropsychiatric symptoms in Parkinson's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders. He currently has NIH funding for multiple projects examining biologic and psychosocial mechanisms of cognitive impairment among individuals with Parkinson's disease or native elders at risk for Alzheimer's disease. He is also the associate director of the NIH-funded URISE program that aims to increase the diversity of biomedical research workforce by providing mentorship and training to undergraduate students from underrepresented populations. Thank you, Dr. Jones. We are honored to have you as our mace bearer today. Today is a joyous occasion for our graduates, their families, and friends. Class of 2023, today you join another distinguished group, the California State University San Bernardino alumni. Yes. That means you've graduated and we'll begin asking you for money. There we go. I'd now like to recognize the distinguished members of the platform party and ask them to stand as they are introduced. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. Representing the university, alumni trustee of the CSU Board of Trustees, Larry Adamson. Next, I, I think the person needs no introduction, Dr. Tomas De Morales, your university president. From the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Dr. Christina Hasija, Dean, Dr. Andrea Schepfer, Interim Associate Dean and Graham Marshall, Dr. Jose Munoz, Assistant Dean, the aforementioned Dr. Jacob Jones, Associate Professor uh, of Psychology and Bearer of the Mace, and representing the university community, Vice President Robert J. Nava, University Advancement and Executive Director for the CSUSB Philanthropic Foundation. Dr. Paz Oliveras, Vice President for Student Affairs. Vice President for Human Resources, Robin Phillips. Dr. Samuel Sudakar, Vice President for Finance, Technology and Operations. Dr. Kelly Campbell, Interim Vice Provost for Academic Programs and Co-Chief Diversity Officer. Dr. Kevin Grisham, Interim Associate Vice President for Faculty Affairs and Development. Rebecca Lubas, Dean of the CSU Libraries. Dr. Edna Martinez, Associate Dean and Administrator in Charge of the Palm Desert Campus. Dr. Caroline Vickers, Associate Dean and Administrator in Charge of Graduate Studies. Welcome to everybody. Oh yeah, wait, there's one more. There's one more person. Uh, you all should know this person, the other president on the stage, who is your ASI president, Carson Fajardo. Carson.
It now gives me great pleasure to introduce Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Dr. Christina Hasija. Good afternoon, esteemed colleagues, parents and families, and most importantly, graduates. <laughs> I am proud to share with you a few of the highlights from another outstanding year in the life of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. First, I will share our faculty recognitions for 2022-23 in the college. For the University Award, Wide Award for Outstanding Service, Dr. Jeremy Murray from the Department of History. For the 2022-23 Outstanding College of Social Behavioral Sciences Award winners, I would like to recognize the following. Outstanding Faculty in instructor, Instructionally Related Activities, Dr. Yawen Lee from the School of Social Work. Outstanding Faculty in Research, Scholarly or Creative Contributions, Dr. Jacob Jones, Department of Psychology. Outstanding Faculty in Service to the College, Dr. Deirdre Laniscog, School of Social Work. Outstanding Junior Faculty Award, Dr. Carrie Barber, Department of History. Outstanding Lecturer, Mr. Silesh Maharjan, Department of Psychology. And Outstanding Staff Member, Ms. Karen Solario, Department of Child Development. Next, I would like to share some recent accomplishes, accomplishments in the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. A grant of nearly $168,000 was awarded to the college's Institute for Child Development and Family Relations to explore potential race inequity and experiences in racism with the early childhood workforce in San Bernardino County. The School of Social Work was awarded a $2.25 million grant for social work programs these grant funds will be used to expand the current social work programs at the San Bernardino campus and Palm Desert campus where a master's in social work program will be launched next fall. Cal State University San Bernardino's Model United Nations program, which is housed in the Department of Geography and Environmental and Global Studies, sent 15 students to New York City for the 2023 National United Nations Conference, one of the largest and longest running model UN conferences in the world. Amongst over 1,500 students representing dozens of universities from around the globe, the team for CSUSB earned the Distinguished Delegation Award, the conference's second highest recognition. This award adds to CSUSB's long history of excellence in producing future generations of global citizens and leaders. Next, the Political Science Department's student-led Pi Sigma Alpha Honor Society chapter was selected as the national best chapter in four of the past six years and has also just received a national activity grant to cover the chapter costs in 2024. Additionally, Dr. Christina Villegas, Associate Professor of Political Science and Faculty Advisor for Pi Sigma Alpha, was appointed to the National Executive Council for Pi Sigma Alpha in 2021, a position that she has been re-elected each year to the present. Next, our History Department's student-run journal, History in the Making, earned its fifth consecutive national award the journal under the faculty direction of Professor Jer Jeremy Murray was awarded second prize in the 2022 Gerard D. Nash History Journal Competition Graduate Print Division. The Phi Alpha Theta National History Honor Society has announced. Now I would like to highlight some of our outstanding student award winners for 2022-23 in the College of Social Behavioral Sciences. The Outstanding Graduate Student Award was granted to Kaylin Doyle from the School of Social Work. The Outstanding Gra Undergraduate Student Award was awarded to Viviana Alvarez Rodriguez from the Department of History. 
And finally, our Outstanding Honors Project recipient was Khalees Saunders from the Department of History. Lastly, I have one more highlight. I'm proud to share that the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice's online MA and criminal justice programs continue to be recognized by US News and World Report rankings, which is considered one of the most influential recognitions for colleges and universities. We all have a lot to be proud of. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce the fourth president of California State University, San Bernardino, Dr. Tomas D. Morales. Good afternoon. On behalf of California State University, San Bernardino, I welcome you to this year's fall commencement ceremony. Congratulations to the class of 2023. All here join you in celebrating this la landmark achievement. This is your moment. Graduates, as you commemorate this meaningful accomplishment, take time to remember what it took to realize it. The majority of the challenges we face in our lives are unforeseen and untimely. To be here today, you have proven you can adapt, overcome, and succeed. But never forget that your success was made possible by the support of those closest to you, many who are here in the audience, as well as others unable to attend. With all the parents, family members, relatives, spouses, and friends of our graduates, please stand. Please stand. <laughs> graduates, please recognize these significant people who have given you their encouragement, their understanding, and their love. Thank you, thank you. I know many here are the first in their families to earn a college degree, breaking a barrier and setting themselves up as role models for siblings, relatives, and future generations. Would all those graduates who are the first in their family to receive a four-year degree please stand and be recognized? And I, and I want to take a moment, I want to take a moment to extend my heartfelt appreciation to our world-class, outstanding faculty who have taught and mentored you throughout your years at CSUSB, and also our exemplary staff who, regardless of their specific role on campus, are dedicated first and foremost to your success. May I, may I ask the faculty and staff to please stand. Let them all thank you. <laughs> Graduates, I want to talk today about two key actions I would like you to leave with after today's commencement as you move into your post-college future. Those actions are to innovate and to participate. The education you have received here at Cal State San Bernardino, both in the classroom and through your extracurricular activities, is more than simply a means towards earning a living, though that's as usually important. 
Your degree is also set a set of tools for living your life in an ever-changing world, a world which will continue to present challenges that are unprecedented or appear to be unprecedented. Along with the knowledge you have acquired, the critical thinking, study, and research skills you have learned will be of great help in the future. Let me take a few moments to share with you the importance of the degree which you are receiving today. Per the U.S. Census Bureau 2022 American Community Survey, 22.5% of California residents aged 25 and over have a bachelor's degree, compared to only 15.2% of the Inland Empire residents aged 25 and over. So we are far below our state as a whole here in the Inland Empire. These statistics add to the importance of today. Do you realize that all of you who are graduating are part of making a difference here in the Inland Empire and in California? Your success pursuant of your degree will not only impact your life, it will impact the lives of your family, your friends, your community, and the region. You are part of the solution. You are making a difference. You are changing the narrative. And to continue making that difference, you will need to innovate and participate. Merriam-Webster tells us that to innovate is to make changes, to do something in a way, in a new way, and to participate is to take part or share in something. This is a long way of saying, keep learning, keep building on the information you have learned at CSUSB, both in terms of the data itself and in terms of how to use that data. As you build your post-college life, which will include your family, your family of friends, your neighbors, and the fellow residents of your town or city, share those ideas, information, and skills, because we are all in this together, like it or not. Even when people try to separate us into an us and a them, the truth is there is no us and them. There is only a we. Fellow human beings on this small, beautiful, blue and white marble in the blackness of space. As a lifelong coyote, a forever member of the pack, you are leaders here in the Inland Empire. Because in addition to the skill of innovation and the action of participation, you also know that our diversity is our strength in finding solutions and building a better future. We're all in this together, so continue to ask questions. In fact, dare to ask them. How can we build our tomorrow and build it sustainably? And also, how can we do this with equity and inclusivity? To answer these questions, you guessed it, you're going to have to innovate and participate. But remember, you have your degree now earned during a global pandemic and the knowledge and tools to build a sustainable tomorrow. You have this. Now go out and pursue the future, which is not only yours, but also the future for those around you. Keep innovating, keep participating. I believe in you. Graduates, your future is bright. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much, President Morales, for those inspiring words. 
Uh, you've heard from the president, so I guess it's time to go. Oh, wait, no, we have degrees to award first, yeah. All right, well, we are ready for the conferral of our master's degrees. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? President Morales, as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present these candidates who are deemed worthy of this distinction for the award of the master's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the California State University, I confer upon those of you who have completed the requirements the master's degree. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the master's degree please be seated until directed to come forward by the marshals? Marshals, let's begin. Arthur J. Ramirez. Nancy A. Magana Garcia. Gata H. Kassir. Dion D. Smith. Beatriz Pacheco Bustos. Matthew J. Antone. Miriam G. Fenton. Nicholas R. Peterson. Clarissa A. Gallardo. Savannah M. Arana. Johnny D. Doherty. Casey L. Ball. Michelle Alanese. All right, congratulations to our master's degree recipients. It is now my pleasure to recognize three groups of graduates who have maintained a record of academic excellence. The first group 
includes those students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 to 3.74. They are wearing maroon cords. Will the students graduating cum laude please stand and be recognized? All right, all right, you may be seated. The second group includes those students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89. They are wearing gold cords. Would the students who are graduating magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? All right, congratulations. Uh, not to be outdone, the final group includes those students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. They are wearing maroon and gold cords. Will the students graduating summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? <laughs> On behalf of the summa cum laude students, I'll receive the award. And <laughs> And finally, I'd like to acknowledge those who are wearing the blue and silver spirit cords. These individuals have shown their coyote pride by supporting scholarships for current students and future alumni. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, we are now ready for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Uh, the bachelor's degree will be awarded. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? <laughs> President Morales, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present these candidates who were deemed worthy of this distinction for the award of the bachelor's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the California State University, I confer upon those of you who have met the requirements the bachelor's degree. Please change your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Will the candidates please be seated until directed to come forward by the marshals? We also respectfully request that parents, friends, and students remain in their seats until the end of the ceremony as a courtesy to the graduates who have not yet received their diplomas. Marshals, will you please begin? Delini K. Amara Sekera. Miguel A. Aguilar. Yes. Alicia Beltran. <laughs> Melissa Lozano. Efren A. Romo. Cielo M. Godina. Angel Reyes Lopez. Evelyn Molina. Stephen Piper. 
Yvet Molina. Diana S. Hernandez. Asia K. Martin. Emily Villanueva. Jasmine D. Bernal. Alexis Torres. Lindsay M. Dewar. Karen Wynn. Rachel Todd. Tessa Ortega. Angie Aguayo. Cole M. Gentry. Giselle G. Quiroz. Aline C. Engel. Rochelle A. Morris. Marie Eddy. Desiree J. Apodaca. Mauricio Garcia. Selena Alvarado. Courtney N. Collins. Stacy M. Gomez. Michael A. Peterson. Jennifer G. Avila. Itari A. Romero Vasquez. Joe Marie Veloria. Tatiana M. Nebla. Elizabeth Chavez. Carla Pinson. Jacqueline Castillo. Ana Pacheco Penalosa. Lizbeth Aguas. Selene Solorio. Candice D. Perez. Derek Ayala. Patricia E. Paz. Marissa A. Sanchez. Catherine J. Arroyo. Andrea B. Lopez Barrias. Danielle Luna. Ricardo Vasquez. Monica Y. Ramos. Brendan M. O'Flynn. Monica C. Whalen. Vanessa Soria. Luisa Lorraine T. Raimundo. Soraya S. Valenti. Javin Burton. Cynthia M. Garcia. Alexandra A. Barraza. Evelyn Valdivia. Marlena P. Guzman. Cynthia Chavez. Margarita Jimenez Magana. Alejandra Dominguez Cabuto. Sarai Via Senor Macias. Carla Vasquez. Andrea Camacho. Jessica S. Chavez. Christina Meza. Tatiana Romo. Christina C. Ruiz. Kiara O. Miller. Melody J. Gutierrez. Sasha Flores. Maritza Y. Cruz. Kaylin A. Flores. Jared R. Fisher. Mariana Sierra. Kevin E. Sayas. Lizette Perez. Yan Jie Shu. Chiamaka E. Ibabuji. Ah! 
Jennifer Chavez. Cheyenne R. Webster Leva. Vanessa L. Vasquez. Crystal M. Castro. Maya N. Nash. Andrea N. Wayne. Astrid Reyes. Kelly L. Uribe. Raylan E. Otis. Sarah Lopez. Carissa G. Perez. Consuelo Guadalupe Rocha. Arliana M. Martinez. Carolina Hidalgo Martinez. Tania A. Hall. Jasmine V. Salazar Quintanilla. Brittany G. Angulo. Crystal G. Natividad. Laura M. Covarrubias. Mariah B. Arteaga. Michelle Galvan. Ivan E. Cisneros. Araceli Santana. Caitlin Lindsay. Marissa Campana. Emily Waymeyer. Amanda M. Higgins. Priscilla Cruz. Carla S. Mercado. Evelyn J. Moreno Garcia. Kamari S. Robinson. Guadalupe Perez. Tanja Sinclair. Cynthia Morales. Jose S. Arista. Gabriela P. Gonzalez. Catalina Castillo. Patricia R. Lagunas Flores. Mireya Hieronimo Ixta. Rosa D. Gomez. Yareli A. Solis Mejia. Mireya Politron. Elizabeth Ramos. Angela B. Ramirez. Alondra N. Paredes. Alan Mijares. Esther Ramirez. Ivan Morales. Lily Beth A. Galvin Cervantes. Julio C. Teriquez. Jacqueline Rocha Gallegos. Javier G. Villanueva. Andrea C. Stoffel. Jada Carmichael. Lauren M. Salters. Omar Paz Ramirez. Leslie De Leon Wait. Isabel G. Archuleta. <laughs> Emma Y. Montez. Sonia Covarrubias. Shuri E. Long. Genesis Maldonado Ramirez. Martina M. Capacete. Colleen Broussard. Danielle M. Armenta. Emily L. Belcher. Jasmine Garcia. Alexandra R. Nash. Amanda R. McAllister. Fatima G. Bonilla. Rena R. Gonzalez. Cynthia Garcia. Claudia V. Alejandre. Miriam Sanchez. Erica Smith. Denise Leal. 
Nicole D. Cisneros Gonzalez. Miriam Velasquez Hernandez. Maria L. Rojas. Eileen Martinez. Gabriela Diego. Deborah A. Johnson. Zoe A. Morin. Anaya B. Woods. Sarah Codor. Sabrina D. Mendoza Aguilar. Daniela Ojeda. Giselle B. Ramirez. Leslie L. Gutierrez. Caitlin P. Hernandez. Litsy Ramirez. Stephanie N. Dornbos. Ashley D. Meza. Benjamin M. Brown. Elizabeth Lopez. Sebastian L. Romero. Valerie F. Perez. Charles J. Hotrum. Montserrat Espinoza Armenta. Jared M. Espiritu. Brenda Y. Velador. Andrea Mendoza Guerrero. Jamie I. Altamirano Castillo. Cesar Reyes. Dianella Felix. Jerry L. Luna. Cynthia P. Ramirez Linares. Emmanuel Martinez. Nyla J. Hernandez. Jasmine Henry. Cheyenne A. Quintero. Willa May Vault. Neil M. Angulo. Andrew Donis. Lydia A. Morales Ortiz. Congratulations, graduates. You, you now join the ranks of this country's best and brightest. For this next phase of your lives as you continue to innovate and participate, I urge you to, to remain engaged with your community. Practice empathy and respect for others and live out the values of diversity, equity, and inclusion in whatever you do. Because your innovation and your participation in the world of tomorrow will help to shape that world. Don't be afraid to grab a hold of the agency that each and every one of you possesses and help to build a better world. Yep. Know that this university, your alma mater, will always be a resource for you. For example, I encourage you to stay connected through our Alumni Association. CSUSB alumni can be a wonderful resource. 
you will find your fellow coyotes all over the globe, wherever your career and life paths will take you. And you will also find them here at home. 66% of our alumni live in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. Yes, CSUSB alumni are actively building the future of the Inland Empire and of our nation and our world. Congratulations to the Cal State San Bernardino class of 2023. As our newest alumni, I wish each and every one of you satisfaction, self-fulfillment, and success in all your future endeavors. Congratulations. All right, now that you are all officially alumni, I invite you to join us in singing the alma mater. The text of the alma mater will appear on the screens, and again, actively sing along. Please stand for our alma mater. I also wanted to uh, once again extend my congratulations to our new graduates and thanks to the family and friends who supported them all through their journey. I ask that the audience please remain in their seats until the graduates have recessed. Family and friends, you may join the graduates for photographs outside by the Legacy Fountain. Graduates, please remain in your rows until the marshals direct you to recess. And now, I'd like you to end this ceremony with a big cheer on the count of three. One, two, three.